This video is on using the unit circle to solve trigonometric problems. So, cosine of theta is equal to the x value when we're looking at our unit circle. So, cosine always involves the x coordinate, sine of theta involves the y coordinate, tangent of theta is the y coordinate over the x coordinate. X cannot be zero because you can't have zero in the denominator. If the de denominator is zero, then it's undefined. Secant of theta is one over the x value. Cosecant of theta is one over the y value. And cotangent theta is x over y. So you need to remember that the denominator cannot equal zero. Okay, so we're gonna use these to solve some problems. So the first one, sine of 120 degrees. So I'm just going to use my unit circle here. So I'm going to find where it's 120 degrees. Okay, and sine, I said, was the y value. So the y coordinate at 120 degrees is just the square root of three over two. All right, so now we have cosine of negative seven pi over six. So find seven pi over six. So we're gonna look in here. We have our radians and we have our degrees. So seven pi over six and it's cosine. So that's the X value. Negative square root of three over two but we do have this negative here. So negative from our problem, negative square root of three over two, a negative times a negative is a positive, so they basically just cancel out, so it's just square root of three over two is the answer. All right, let's try a couple more. We have cosine of negative 225 degrees. So 225 degrees, cosine, negative square root of two over two, but we also have this negative here that we have to remember, and cosine of 225 degrees, I said was negative square root of two over two, and a negative times a negative is a positive, so it is positive square root of two over two. So just be careful anytime you have that minus or the negative sign in there that you don't forget about it. All right now, sine of pi over six. So pi over six is right here. Sine would be my y value, which is just one half. All right, so here's four problems exactly like the ones I just did with you. So go ahead and try them out and I'll go through the answers with you when you're ready. All right, sine of 30 degrees. So use your unit circle. Sine would be the y value, so it's one half. Cosine of negative 11 pi over six. So I find 11 pi over six. Cosine is x, so square root of three over two, but I have to pay attention to the negative. So negative, square root of three over two. Then we have cosine of negative 315 degrees. So 315 degrees, cosine is square root of two over two, but that negative makes it negative square root of two over two. Then the last one is sine of pi so here's pi, sine is the y value, which is zero, so my value is zero. All right, so those ones were pretty easy, just using sine and cosine. So now we're going to use some of the other values, and we're going to figure out if we can solve those. So let's start out with tangent. All right. So tangent of five pi over six. So remember I said tangent 
is the y value over the x value. So going back to your unit circle, 5 pi over 6. So look all the way around. You need to find 5 pi over 6, which is right here, and we're going to use those x and y values. We have to start with the y value, which is 1 half, over the x value, which is negative square root of 3 over 2. Okay, so we have fraction divided by a fraction. So when you're dividing, we're going to change it to a multiplication problem. So the trick is you take your first fraction, which is 1 half, keep it, change division to multiplication, flip your second fraction over. So negative 2 over the square root of 3. Multiply straight across, or you can cross simplify. We have a 2 and a 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So if I multiply across, 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Over 1 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 3. But you cannot have a square root in the denominator. So I'm going to multiply by square root of 3 over square root of 3. Negative 1 times the square root of 3 is negative square root of 3. Square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is just 3 because we'll have the square root of 3 times 3. Well, 3 is multiplied by itself, so we can just pull it out. Okay. Then, all right, we have cotangent of pi over 3. So, cotangent is x over y. And if we find pi over 3, we know that the x value is 1 half over the y value is square root of 3 over 2. So again, you're going to do keep it, change it, flip it. Okay, I can cross simplify. My 2's cancel out. When I multiply straight across, 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 3, but I cannot have a square root in the denominator, so I'm going to multiply by the square root of 3 over the square root of 3, because that's the same thing as multiplying by 1. Okay, we have 1 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 3. The square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is 3 because it's the square root of 3 times 3. 3 is multiplied by itself, so it can come out. All right, cosecant of 3 pi over 4. So for this one, we need to do 1 over the y coordinate. So 3 pi over 4, it's right here. And we need to find the y coordinate, so we can be 1 over y, which y is square root of 2 over 2. Again, treat that as division. So I'm going to say keep it, keep the 1, change division to multiplication, flip your second fraction over. To make 1 into a fraction, I can just put a 1 below it. Or you can know that 1 times square root of 2 over 2 is just this, sorry, 1 times 2 over the square root of 2 is 2 over the square root of 2. We cannot have square root in the denominator, so I'm going to multiply by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. 2 times the square root of 2. 2 square root of 2 over square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2. Because you're multiplying 2 by itself so it can come out. All right, I can reduce. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so I'm just left with the square root of 2. These cancel each other out. All right, let's try one more and then I'll let you try some on your own. So secant of 3 pi over 2. So secant is 1 over x. And 3 pi over 2, our x coordinate is 0. So this is 1 over 0, but you cannot have a 0 in the denominator, meaning this is undefined. Okay. 
Okay. Go ahead and try these four on your own and I'll go through the answers with you when you're finished. All right. Tangent is y over x, pi over two, so the y coordinate is one, x coordinate is zero, which is also undefined. You can never have zero in the denominator. All right, cotangent is x over y, four pi over three, let's see, it's right here, so, the x coordinate is negative one half over the y coordinate negative square root of three over two. And I'm going to keep it, change it, flip it. Okay, I can cancel the twos out. Negative times a negative is a positive, so I have one over square root of three, but can't have square root in the denominator, so I'm going to multiply by square root of three over the square root of three and I'm left with square root of three over three. Okay, then cosecant gives us one over y and seven pi over four right here. So the y value is negative, so one over negative, square root of two over two. I'm going to do keep it, change it, flip it. So it's just negative two over square root of two, but I can't have the square root in the denominator, so I'm going to multiply top and bottom by the square root of two over two. This gives me negative two square root of two over two. Two divided by two is one. So negative square root of two. And last one, secant is one over x and 11 pi over six gives me one over the x value, square root of three over two. Keep it, change it flip it, okay, gives me two over square root of three, multiply by the square root of three over the square root of three, and we get two square roots of three over three. Hopefully you were able to get all of those answers.